our $20 computer right here. We recently purchased, not recently, almost like two or three weeks, I think two weeks. Uh, picked up this computer from Facebook Market. The reason this person sold me this computer for $20 because this thing have like really low end spec. The only reason I bought this computer because of the power supply and the motherboard on the Gigabyte H61 motherboard. So I was like, I gotta get this computer for $20. The motherboard goes for a long, right, for like around $50. Uh, you guys can see there is like a dust filter here and uh, also the hard drive doesn't work, hard drive is dead. Uh, the CPU in this computer, uh, Intel G440, that's a uh, single core CPU without hyper threading and the clock speed is around 1.6. So I really need to pull the CPU out and also RAM in there, uh, DDR3. Uh, 2 gig I believe so we are going to upgrade the CPU we are going to upgrade RAM uh, CPU we are going with uh, I picked up this uh, Intel Core i5 2400 uh, CPU from eBay for around $20 I was lucky the CPU goes for around like $25 to $30 uh, but uh, I offered one of this uh, one of the seller and he gave me for $20 and also I picked up uh, RAM uh, 8 gigs of uh, DDR3 uh, RAM, I believe these are 1600 Also, I uh, offered this seller for like around $10 and he gave me this. I uh, I think that's I think Samsung, I believe Samsung or Kingston, I believe. Alright, and the graphics card we're going with RX 560. Uh, 2 gig variant graphics card. Uh, also, I picked up from eBay for $40. Uh, it was, it's pretty good, but it's only a 2 gig uh, uh, version, so it's okay. Basically, we are building this computer for a plain game like uh, Apex uh, Legend and uh, Overwatch, so I think I think we can pull it off. Now, guys, <laughs> I really, really chipped out with this uh, SSD. I don't recommend you guys to go with like a 64 gig go with at least 120 or 128 gig SSD. Now just cause that drive is dead, it's not working, like the window doesn't recognize this hard drive. So I picked up this laptop SSD for $10, 64 gig. It does come with an adapter for like a regular uh, uh, SATA, so you guys can see here. So yeah, we can uh, we can install like uh, maybe Apex Legend and uh, Overwatch, uh, 64 gig should be more than enough. Also, I have a adapter from Molux to 6-pin for the graphics card because this power supply here is a 300 watt power supply. It's a pretty good power supply, uh, but it doesn't come with like the 6-pin. So I'm going to use the Molex uh, to 6-pin parts, uh, the connector for the graphics card. And also, uh, let me just pop this uh, dust filter off. And uh, I managed to clean this computer. I couldn't show you guys uh, in my room because if I clean this computer in my room with like my a blower, a air blower, uh, I'll have like dust flying all over in my room. So what I basically did, I took this computer outside, uh, I brushed it, and I also, uh, you know, uh, with the air pressure, I cleaned the whole computer inside and stuff. That's why I don't know if you guys can see the computer is clean. And uh, so what are we are going to do, we are just going to pull out the CPU, the cooler, clean the cooler, and then throw our new CPU in. And uh, what else? I need to pull the RAM out. Uh, this case is a MATX case. It's a weird case. Like I've never seen this uh, like case anywhere. Uh, made in Taiwan, so it's not made in China. And uh, it's a pretty good case, guys. So let's just go on with this upgrade and, uh, you know, Maybe give you guys a quick uh, time lapse. So let's just jump in.
guys so you guys can see we are done upgrading our $20 uh, computer so total cost it cost me around $100 now what we basically did, we uh, replaced the Intel uh, G440 CPU, that's a single core uh, 1.6 GHz CPU with our Core i5 uh, 2400 quad core CPU, uh, 3.4 GHz uh, base clock. And also we replaced the RAM. Uh, this computer came with two gigs of RAM. Uh, we replaced the RAM with uh, eight gigs of RAM because for gaming, eight gigs of RAM should be more than enough. And this computer didn't come with a graphics card, so we picked up a RX 560, and we uh, we installed the RX 560 here, as you guys can see from XFX. Uh, it's a two gig variant, but this card should be uh, more than enough for like playing Apex Legend or Overwatch. Uh, the hard drive was dead, so that's another reason he sold me this computer for twenty dollar. So. Basically, uh, I kind of chipped out on the SSD. Uh, I got a pretty good deal on that SSD. I picked up for around $10. That's a laptop SSD with the uh, adapter. You guys can see regular SATA adapter. So I picked up for $10. So I was like, why not? Maybe down the road, I'll pick up like a, a cheap uh, Sandix SSD or a Kingston SSD and maybe upgrade to like maybe 120 gig or maybe 240 gig. If you guys are planning on going with like a hard drive, uh, you can pick up a cheap uh, maybe 500 gig uh, uh, Western digital hard drive or like a one terabyte from I believe from Newegg for around $39 but then I do recommend going with SSD over mechanical hard drive for gaming uh, and uh, that's about it so let's just see how this computer perform in gaming while playing like Apex Legend and Overwatch Alright guys, so finally I'm done installing uh, Windows 10 Pro and also uh, done installing uh, Apex Legend and also I installed uh, Overwatch and I have Afterburner running so you guys can see like the GPU load, uh, GPU core clock, uh, GPU memory right on the top and then you can see the CPU temps, uh, the CPU uh, clock speed right here so you guys can see we have four core running at like around 3.1 uh, gigahertz right now it goes up to like 3.2 gigahertz uh, we have the RAM right here showing and then we have right here uh, FPS so you guys can see so let's just jump into settings real quick and video so you guys can see we have uh, we are running uh, 1920 by 1080 uh, we have a uh, 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 view set to 110 and then uh, uh, we had to disable vSync of course and then you guys can see we're not using the anti aliasing we have a uh, texture uh, streaming uh, budget set to 2 gig because this graphics card is only a 2 gig graphics card and uh, everything else basically set to low so let's just jump into the game So now we will test Overwatch and see how this uh, $100 gaming PC uh, performs while playing Overwatch. So let's just jump into, okay, let's just jump into option and then we have uh, basically everything set to medium, seems like medium, right? Let me just go to advanced real quick. 
Yes, so we have uh, been set to medium or low. Again, 1920 by 1080 resolution. And we have V-Syncs off. So let's just jump into the game. Alright guys, so as you guys can see, with my $100 gaming PC, I can play Apex Legend at low setting, also Overwatch, a low and mid setting at 1920 by 1080p resolution. Not too bad guys. Now one downside about this build I have, I only have a 64 gig SSD. I wish I had like maybe 120 gig uh, SSD so I can uh, download more games. But if you guys want to see like a uh, full gaming benchmark with this $100 gaming PC, give this uh, video a thumbs up. Also leave your comment and if you're watching me for the first time, don't forget to subscribe and stay tuned. Now. Uh, Maybe I'll pick up a, a bigger drive so I can run like more uh, games for you guys. Uh, I can test more games for you guys. But overall guys, this setup is not too bad. If you can squeeze in a little bit more money, maybe go with a GTX uh, 1050 Ti. And if you're planning on getting like RX uh, 560, RX 560 is a really low end graphics card. At least go with a uh, 4 gig variant, not the 2 gig variant, the one I have. Uh, you can also build this computer with the Core i3 2100. Uh, I got a pretty good deal on uh, Core i5 2400, that's why I went with this. But I would always uh, choose uh, uh, quad core over dual core because you kind of, you know, future proof yourself with the quad core over dual core. Alright guys, that should be it. If you guys have any other question, uh, please don't forget to leave in the comment section. And don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe. See you guys next one.